Welcome to part two of the Pi Game Zero game introduction. In video number one, part one, we uh, got Pi Game Zero working and we created a simple box which is going to be the screen for our game. Um, if you haven't checked out part one, make sure you do, or just quickly copy out the code on the screen there and uh, try it out. So in this second video, what we're going to do is create uh, the actual first version of our game. Now we're going to use some files and images in our game. We're going to have an alien, we're going to have a famous character from Nintendo, and we're also going to use the Royalty Pi logo. And uh, what you'll need to do is go to your browser and download these. So if you type in github.com slash techoed, press enter. Once you're on the GitHub page, which is a um, website used for hosting and sharing code, if you click on repositories, and find this one here, Pi Game Zero Simple Game. And we want to find the image folder. And inside the image folder are three PNG files. Now the reason we're using PNG files is because they do not include a background. And obviously in the game, we want to be able to add our own background, um, not the background that is in the picture. Okay, now before you load them, or should I say before you save them, um, go to the file browser and create a new folder called images. And this is where you're going to store the images for the game. Because what happens is Pi Game Zero, if you use any images, looks inside the folder called images and uh, runs or picks them up from there. Okay, so you must make sure that the folder is called images. And then what we're going to do is click on each one of these. Right click, save the image as. And then we're going to go into documents. Or home, sorry, I'm going to go into home. Images, which is the folder we just created. Click in there and keep the name the same, alien. You can change the names, but you just need to remember to change them in the program code. So for now, I would keep the code, sorry, keep the names the same, keep the code the same. Right click, saving the image. This is going to go into the same folder. And the last one is our Pi logo. So right click, save image as. And this again is in that same folder. Right, we can now close that. And if we go back to the image folder here, I've now got my three images for my game. Right, so let's open up Thonny. Uh, we're gonna start a new one. We can close the old one there. And uh, you may remember we need to import Pygame, first of all. So we're importing Pygame. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Next up, we're going to import time because we are going to be using some time delay or some time features a bit later on. Now, the next part is to create a version of the character. Now, in my game, I'm going to call the, um, the character Game Hero. So Game Hero is the name of the character. And then I have to assign it to an actor. So in Pi Game, we're using uh, actors. In in Sprite, sorry, in um, Scratch, we use sprites, and uh, in Pi Game, we use actors. And then I have to tell the program where what the name of the, the file is. So Embros, if you remember, in our image folder, Embros is our Luigi. So now I've created a new character, an actor called Game Hero, and uh, they are stored in 
this uh, variable called game hero. Now I need to set a position for the game hero. So this is very simple game hero dot pos short for position equals and I need to tell it where to store or, or where to place the uh, character. Sorry. Next up, I need to place or tell the position for the act to appear in the game. Um, so if you imagine when we uh, had that square or rectangle that we created in video one, I need to tell the program where to display the character. So what I'm going to do is cut game hero dot pos. I'm going to tell it where to display it. So 400 by 500. Okay, so you imagine this is zero, zero. So 400, 500 will be somewhere over here. Next up, I need to define the width and the height of the uh, of, of the game. So width is going to be a thousand and height. Now the height of the um, screen is going to be the total height of the game character and then 500 above that. So if I open up Mario, so here's Mario. No, it's not Luigi. Here's Luigi. Okay. So that's the height there. So this is going to be the, the height of the gameplay of, of the character, game hero, and then 500 above that. And that is where the top of the window is going to be. And to do this, I'm going to type game hero in lowercase. dot height and then plus 500. So I'm creating a, a screen for my game. The width is going to be a thousand, a bit like this screen here. Okay. And then the player or the, the game here is going to be displayed and the height of the screen is going to be 500 above it. That ensures that you get a nice, um, size that fits the, the game player. Obviously if you use a different picture it's still going to fit in because you've always set it to be 500 uh, pixels above the top of the image. Next then we need to add our game character. Um, so similar to video number one we are going to use a definition and we're going to write DEF draw And then first of all, we're going to clear the screen. And the reason for doing this is because when you um, create your character on the screen, when you draw, when the program draws it on the screen, if you draw it here and then the character moves, it's going to be there and there. And if we move the character again, it's going to be there as well. So we'll have three versions of the, of the character. So we want to clear the screen each time we draw, which gives the illusion of the uh, character moving. So screen dot clear and then we need to simply draw the character and the character is called game hero so we type game dot hero and then we need to draw it so dot draw open bracket close bracket right let's save the game okay and uh, call it whatever you want to mine's still called simple um, simple game and then press run. Uh, name game is not defined. Oh, so it's game underscore. So game underscore hero, game underscore hero. Well done if you spotted that. Run it. And here we go. So 400 by 500 is the, uh, sorry, 1000. Um, is the the width which we've got there we've then got the game character is 500 there we then draw the little luigi and 500 above so just to show you how that works if i change that to 100 and we'll run that you can see obviously it's too small this time it doesn't fit okay 
So you might have to play around with these sizes if you decide to use a different um, character. But if you're using the ones that I have, uh, you've downloaded and I've uploaded to GitHub, then you'll be absolutely fine. Okay, so we've got our character. In part three of the video, we will add the functions to enable the character to move and for you to be able to click the character.